What's going on everybody? Today's a little bit of a special day here. You know why? I'm cracking some really old beta beta boxes. I um I had this since when beta was released and I've been holding it. I'm so curious to see what's inside of it. I've been I've been wondering for a while now what we're going to what we're going to see. So, without further ado, we're going to take a look at this box today. And the next series of videos will also be some of this uh, case just to kind of show, whoops, whoops. What's the difference in boxes from the original launch versus today, you know? Cuz I'm noticing that there's definitely some clumping um, challenges today where you may see more uniques pop up early on of certain kinds and less of certain kinds. This is upside down, so that obviously means something good. So, um, really excited to, to see what this what this will bring for us here today. Um, we're gonna just kind of get going and see see what it's like. Um, Robinger Gilded, all right, right off the bat, our first unique. Okay, Vile. It'll be interesting to see if we if we happen to find a Curio um, as well. You know, I know I, I actually invested in some. Uh, well, these go here. Sorry, in some Ruby Core foils, foil cores. I, I did buy some. Um, they they just seem too low for the situation. Um, there's no way that there's that many more Ruby cores printed than you know anything else. There's just no way. So I bought some because I, I do have some expectations of of things doing uh, doing really well there. I'm not saying that. You should or shouldn't buy some, but all I'm saying is is that um, you should look at the prices compared to some of the other cores, and you know maybe decide for yourself. Does that does that really make sense to you? Why that's the case? Are there really that many more foil ruby cores and beta printed? Um, Geomancer, does that make sense to you? Like for me, um, it just feels weird. Magnetic muzzle. And uh, what's your downside on a foil core that's $120, right? What's the downside risk there? To me, downside risk is, you know, let's say you pay $130, $140. I don't know, it goes down to $90? Maybe that's your downside risk, but what's your upside potential? The upside potential feels, boom, Lord of the Void, feels huge. I did notice that earlier boxes had more Lords of the Void for me. I've noticed that a little bit. Plumed. So, when I look at the odds like that of the downside versus upside, the downside just seems... Oh, Atlantean Fate. That's our third. Bosque Troll. Sorry, I'm thinking of Alpha. Sorcerer. Chimera. Oh, foil berry. Feels like that's a slot off too. Man, looks good. Drums of Doom. Okay. Even that, that goes for the product in general. What's the downside of some of holding some sealed sorcery? Is there truly a downside to that? Um, you know, is it fifty dollars is the downside? But again, what's your what's your upside? Look at Alpha. Look at what Alpha's doing, right? Um, I just think that. We're, we're at the precipice of, of inventory ending, and uh, I just want to make sure that, you know, I, I have what I need. 
um, you know, going into uh, world post, you know, beta TC. Rest in peace, Blood Ravens. I'm just really excited and happy about all the excitement in sorcery in general. I mean, there's just been a ton of excitement, a ton of people coming into the game. Um, rest in peace again, dupes of that. Okay. Observatory. Wave Shaper. Had a variety of uh, avatars there. Bane. Magellan. The Bears. We only have one foil so far, though, so we definitely have some foil getting clumped around there. Battlefield. Adept, okay, skills. So far, what do you guys think of this uh, this old box? Do you see much of a difference? You know, after you watch the set of maybe I do three or four on this uh, this this older uh, beta box. It's all one print run though, right folks? So like, all one print run. However, some product gets placed on the top earlier in that one print run, and some stuff is on bottom. So, you know, and sometimes I, I have a feeling that I've, I've noticed that there could be clumping dependent on where in that cycle things took place. Orb, okay, orb. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. Already we have a we have a massive hit here. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh yeah. We're just gonna put that in there like that. That doesn't that look spectacular? I mean, holy cow. Oh yeah. Oh, where were we? Holy cow, man, that's a hit. Kythera. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Crave. Narcotic. Okay. Yeah, that's a great hit too. That's you know ten or so bucks for a standard uh, standard unique. Purge. I don't know that I have this one in foil either. Bone rabble. So that's a that's a win for me. Oh yeah, that looks great. So far, this box is giving. Polymorph. Okay. I actually don't know the price of a foil Kythera. I'm not. Sh I'm not honestly not sure. I mean, I'm gonna poisonous. Okay, poisonous dagger. Geo. We'll take a look at this. Obviously, I, like I said, I just love the foiling, the green foiling here in the in the poisonous dagger. Just looks real good. We still have a lot of hits left in this box too, folks. So stay in here with me, Far East. We have a foil in here, kind of looks like a uh, flame wave maybe? Flame wave? Blaze, okay. Man, that looks good too. I think I have Blaze already. 
Yeah, yeah, I remember that being there. I think we got a foil here too. Bells. Okay. But beautiful Spring River. Holy cow. Spring River. Oh yeah. Just like lands and magic, these sites are, are going to be forever, I think, in high demand as people are going to want to put them in their decks. Um, you know, those are those are always going to be high demand type things. I th I personally think. Cave trolls. Okay. Three more foils to go. Two more uniques to go. What do we have? Unland. And hopefully a Curia to go. Okay. I mean, we pulled the Kythera, though, so everything else is gravy. Plague? Okay, okay, okay. That's number six. Mortality, muck. Pikeman. Occult. Boom. That's a beautiful unique right there. I'm not sure what the price of it's doing, but it's really hard to pull. So that's not that's not an easy pull at all. Flame color. We got almost all of the avatars. Thunderstorm. I think we're missing Spark Mage. Ghost ship. Buffs? Man, man, another Geomancer. Hydra? Man, we don't have many packs left and we have three more foils to go. Are they all going to be on bottom? Replication. Okay, we got a foil here. Titan. Scarecrow. We got Entangle. Rain. Wizard. Oh, boom. Humble Village. Like I said, these sites, you know. These sites are going to be something. I think, again. If I have to guess. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I need that one or not. Major. Miracle Workers, okay. I think I have that one. Okay. Two more packs, one more foil. Trebuchet. Thanks for sticking it out with me, folks. Here's the uh, foil. Wall oh, Wall of Air. Wall of Air. I don't think I have that one. For some reason, I thought it was the one after that. Let me check here. Yep. Now, this last pack might be a Curio, so if you folks are sticking around for it, you're going to hopefully see something special. An eighth. An eighth unique. Okay, okay. And nothing else. Again, thanks for checking it out. Check out the other videos in the series here that I'm going to be posting and uh, looking for more foil uniques. We'll talk to you all later.